Today we see the continuation of the Battle Hulk vs. Iron Man. Let's go! In the middle of the New Mexico desert, Tony Stark finds a motel. He approaches the proprietor there and offers to buy the motel for any amount he desires. The man receives a pen and Stark's checkbook before writing himself a check and walking away. Tony immediately drops a large metal structure around the motel when the previous owner leaves. He dons his armor and starts a series of drones so he may begin investigating what occurred here years ago before the gamma bomb explosion that forever transformed Bruce Banner's life. Bruce Banner, who is located at the Pentagon, is searching for information of his own. Bruce is given access to the data using his SHIELD credentials. He starts looking through the Gamma Bomb project files and discovers something that supports the bizarre visions he had been having. An invoice completed by General Thaddeus Ross is contained in the files. It describes how he gave two bottles of 25-year-old scotch, and a sizable chunk of money to Tony Stark to investigate and enhance the Gamma Bomb. This infuriates Banner, but he uses medicines to control his feelings since he needs to stay Banner in order to discover the truth. Bruce then goes back to his lab and administers an injection to himself that has a negative reaction with the extremists in his body. As he anticipates, this alarms Tony's brother Arno, who queries what is wrong. Arno is persuaded that Bruce is the one who knows exactly what needs to be reprogrammed when Bruce informs him that alterations need to be made to the extremist programming. By pointing out to Stark's brother that he is an authority on Hulk physiology, he persuades him to accept the proposal. Iron Man is present at that very moment at the motel room he once resided in while serving as a consultant for the Gamma Bomb project years before. Tony has no recollection of the events of that particular night because he was so inebriated. He uses his drones to scan the space for energy signatures that may help him piece together what happened that fatal evening. Then he brings up pictures from that era. Ross had just hired him to modify the Gamma Bomb. Tony had brought Bruce to his hotel room while he was drunk on scotch and asked him to fulfill Ross's request. As he believes Stark is simply doing it to claim some credit for the weapon, Bruce won't allow Stark to assist. Banner yells at Tony, saying that he has worked hard for this moment and only wants his name to be written in history as the one who invented Gamma technology. He storms out after saying that. In his parting comments to Banner, he expresses his desire for his Gamma Bomb test to disastrously fail since it would be just punishment. As he makes his way back to his room, Tony engages in a drunken monologue with his bottle of scotch. He persuades himself to carry out his intentions despite not having Bruce Banner's consent. It'd be a shame if the bomb went horribly wrong, were his final comments. Tony Stark is frightened that this memory has ended since it raises the possibility that he tampered with the Gamma Bomb, which may have led to the creation of the Hulk. He then starts to worry since he doesn't want Banner to know and is unsure of what to say if Bruce somehow finds out. Bruce completes the modifications to the extremists in his body while at one of Tony's estates, and persuades Arno to run the software without double-checking his work. Bruce becomes the Hulk all of a sudden after being injected with a needle. Arno is astonished to see that the Hulk now has Bruce Banner's intelligence when he tries to soothe the angry monster down. 